Okay, so I just wanted to do a video where I played around with this new uh, beta feature of GitHub databases. So um, this is actually really awesome. So I, I brought in um, my pull request down here and my issues template down here. And you can see they're, they're actually like, they come in as regular um, Notion databases. <coughs> and so it's the same kind of thing with the link where you just like, you know, you add the link and you can choose, you know, what's the format that that link comes in. So paste as database is the, is the format that we're using here. And um, unfortunately it's a one way, so you can't actually add uh, new items here. Like you'll see there's no even plus sign. There's no, there's no ability to add. So you can't put new items to push it to GitHub. Um, hopefully that comes with the full feature because for me, most of my uh, task happenings happen over here in Notion and not at GitHub. Um, it would be great to add it to Notion and have it automatically add to GitHub. And I know that there are automation. I could use the API to, and some kind of automations to do that, but to have it like natively do that in, in Notion, I think that would be um, awesome. But because it is a Notion table, I can do some other things with it. So first of all, um, in the documentation, they show like, I mean, you can add another property field. So maybe like, I don't know, um, add favorite and um, actually look, it looks like there's only a certain types of property you can add. So I can add uh, the, you know, maybe last edited time, or edited by, that's actually kind of cool, but you know, you'd have to come in and, and and put that information here. So it says edited by GitHub. That's kind of interesting. Um, but what they do show in the documentation is doing a relationship. So let's say I had another table here. Uh, and um, maybe this table is about like, uh, in the example on the, on the documentation, they show like maybe you're tying it to your roadmap. So if I do that relationship here, I could say like my roadmap, do that relationship. Um, I want it to be, I wonder what this automatic relate, that's a new thing here. Ooh, based off of uh, links found in page properties. I'm not sure how that works. I'll have to play around with that itself. Okay, so um, so here I could do something like, uh, you know, brand colors. And then I could come in here and find, you know, the, the, brand, the brand color ticket. I'm gonna let it open that, uh, click on it here. And boom. Um, it actually added, did I do that? Did it add both? Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Um, I'm not convinced that I added both. No, I guess I did add both. All right, let's try something else. Let's see, because it should have added them this one on that theory. I must have added both. Let's undo this and do it again. I think I double clicked. So I want to add that. Yeah, I just double clicked there. Okay, I thought that was something really strange going on. All right, so um, so I could do this one-on-one -on -one type of thing, but this this seems to me a lot of overhead just to slowly like keep adding these things in here. And I think that was gonna be um, kind of a ridiculous way to work with this. So Instead, because I love, you know, I love filters. What if I, um, you know, created in the page for brand colors an instance of my issues? And what I want to do here is, um, and I can go in and, and customize my view a little bit, but I'm, you know, I'm not going to worry about that. But what I do want to do here is I want to filter 
that the description uses contains the hashtag brand colors. And now all I have to do is maintain that on um, the GitHub side. I have to make sure that I put that description here. So here you can see I did it on the title. Let's let's add that. Let's put this, this advanced filter and say um, or uh, title contains brand color. So that's the way I'd grab it either way. So this one I'm grabbing either way because it does say in the description fields here um, to use a brand color. I can also, if I'm using this assign on GitHub and if the usernames um, are the, the same or somehow I'd have to, you know, that could be a mapping where the username is tied to the username of our Notion username. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know how I could use that, but that's something to know that it could be um, uh, I could use those the, the assigning and creator fields to manage this. So let's just um, let's open this in a window so we can see it a little bit better. I'd probably want the issue number to be over here. Uh, description next. And I want to wrap that column. It's nice to see if it's closed. Um, and then I don't think I really need the rest of these. All right, and I can also do something where like, maybe the view is, um, you know, filtered more so that there's just like, this is all issues. Um, <clears throat> then here I'm gonna filter, actually, we want to duplicate that other filter so we already have the filters we started. So duplicate and we'll call this like open. And then we're going to add the status state contains open so that's pretty cool um let's go back and grab that pull request then as well so i'm going to copy link um, come back in here to brand colors <clears throat> And here I want to do that same filter. So uh, description contains okay. And that allows me then to see, you know, again, here I did put the assignee, so that is something that I could could filter on. Um, wrap that. Here I could see the times merged. So instead of closed, I could see merged. And then I want that PR number up front. And I don't need the rest of these. Um, I do want. Now, if it got merged at, you don't need the state merge, but I kind of like the little merge icon, so we're going to keep that one. So that that's actually pretty workable. So now I've got kind of my, you know, epic, and I can see like any work that's being done um, on this epic. Uh, that's useful. I do find that that's, that's going to be useful. Um, you know, especially like if you have a team, like maybe, you know, maybe there's a few folks that are using Notion and, and, you know, everyone else is doing your issues and pull requests over at GitHub, then you don't have to worry about getting everybody over here. 
um, where like people can, you know, who have to supervise can still see that this is happening. Um, also, <clears throat> the other thing is that, you know, these, you know, especially with, you know, the polar press, like these are going to happen, um, you know, pretty often. And so knowing that, uh, you know, every time we do a pull request, I don't have to sync that table back to like, you know, individually this item. I can just, you know, have this filtered view here as long as we make sure that we are using the, the hashtag to show this. So um, just note that like, so here I've got this brand colors and type. So if I did have another um, issue, let's just duplicate this one and call it type and then here instead on the filter we're going to use that uh, contains type so it does require some governance over our uh, you know our notation and and using of those hashtags but you know it works pretty it's it's pretty smooth I'm, I'm happy with this at least you know, until we can get a like a, a real two-way sync. Um, and even with pull requests, I mean pull requests are never gonna happen on the notion side, they're gonna happen on the on the GitHub side. So this could be an, an easy way that we build out um, those epics that we're working on. And maybe, you know, at the, the top I would be putting some, you know, content here about what I want to happen with these issues, like the kind of an overview. And then we've got, you know, our issues and, you know, yeah, our pull requests. So um, let's just, so you can see it go, happening. Let's just add a quick issue. Um, Okay, et cetera, you get the point. You don't need to watch me type. All right, so now I'm adding that here. I've used that type hashtag. If I come in here to um, type, so I did notice that sometimes you have to, oh, there it is. Sometimes you do have to, if you don't see it coming right away, you come in here and um, when you go to source, no, where did I see that listed? Right here. No, that's it. Okay, so anyway, so you saw that, that that loaded just fine by by adding that hashtag there. So I think that's going to be a really good way to manage this. So um, those of you who are playing around with beta, like tell me what you think. Those of you who are anxiously waiting for beta, you know, tell me what you think. Tell me like what other ideas that you might have for um, managing this, especially if it is only a one-way um, direction into Notion. I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts. Um, all right, so until next time, take care and um, bye.